Okay, so I guess you know I'm heading into surgery in a little bit now. And I did say I was going to leave a video for you, and uh, hopefully it'll go without me bursting into tears or anything. But um, just wanted to let you know, I, you know, I'm going to pull through this perfectly. That is my plan. I'm going to tackle this with all the strength I have. Even now my heart's beating, so it's, you know, it's scary going into this, it really is, but I guess I just wanted to say that I'm so glad we met, and I feel so bad about not keeping in touch with you like I should have, you know, letting stupid things now that I'm looking back on it just keep me from talking to you and playing games with you and, you know, being there for you that I should be, and I feel real bad about that. I <sighs> Most I can do is promise to be there more for you once I get done with this and get healed and, you know, all that fun stuff, but yeah, you know, I do gotta tackle this just in case because this is a major surgery. I don't know what's gonna happen, you know, God willing, we all hope that, you know, we all are like, yeah, you're gonna make it, you're gonna be just fine, you're gonna it's going to be fine, <laughs> and it's all we can hope for, but, you know, on the off chance that something untoward does happen, I just want to say that you have meant the world to me. Don't ever doubt that for a second, okay? Like, we got a bond that's just amazing, and that's another reason why I feel bad for not being as in touch with you as I could be. But, you know, it's nothing we can change at the moment. But I just wanted to say I, I've i lost contact with you, and I, I hope things have changed. I hope you have more confidence in yourself. That's probably the biggest thing I would ever wish for you is to have your self-confidence. Get that self-esteem because you are so amazing. Seriously, you have so many things going for you that you might not even know. I'm not going to sit here and give you a list because I've done that so many times and it's so true even even now. Um, do try to live life. Go for what you want to do and just give it your best shot. Don't go through life saying you're not going to make it. Don't fail before you try. I mean look at me. Yeah I might not have a lot. But I've gone out there, like, everything that I've wanted to try, I have gone out and done. I mean, look at me, man. Even when I'm going to be going to acting school, I mean, it's like, you know, I don't have a chance to really make it too much. But just the fact that I'm like, hey, this is something I really want to try. This is something I want to go for. I'm going to give it a shot. That's how you gotta live life, man. Don't don't sit there and fail before you even try, because that's all you're gonna get then. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not gonna... I hope this isn't coming off as electric, because that's the last thing I want to do. If anything, I just want to, you know, help you find it in yourself to just always give it your best. Who cares if you don't make it? I mean, would you... <sighs> You know my philosophy on life. It's better to try and not get something than to never try and not know. So I just I just want to impart that into you and help you see that, you know, a life's full of trying and failing, but that one time you make it, it makes it all worth it. And I want to see that for you. I want you to be able to go out there, try everything you've always wanted to, even if it's far-fetched. Because you never know. And probably the best thing in life is the fact that you can look back and go, you know, look what I tried. <sighs> I don't even... God, we've had so much. Do you realize this? I have known you for, oh God, well over a year now. You've been amazing. That's all I can say. You just... Don't belittle yourself. Don't down yourself. You you are worth so much. Like, seriously, you... Uh, I can tell you're going to be something amazing once you learn to 
value yourself and respect yourself and allow yourself to just go out there and try you're going to be someone amazing and I'm determined to be there and see what you become and I'll be so happy for you no matter what it is I <laughs> You are so cool, like seriously. I... That's another reason why I regret not spending a lot of time with you lately, but like I said, that's neither here nor there because there's nothing we can do about it right now, but yeah, when I get done with this, we are so making up for lost time. Like, I... Everything in the past just pales. You know, it's like right now I have this defining moment that... I don't even know how to put it. I just, I look at things as like before and after. You know, the surgery is like right there in the middle. You know, it's just right there. Right there in the middle is the surgery. And I have my life before that. And I have my life after that. I want you to be a part of that life after. Like, I really want to bond with you again. I really hope my computer USB port noise is not coming into this video. But if it is, just ignore it. It's something I deal with every day. I'm kind of rambling, but I didn't want to write down what I wanted to say because I'd be really cheesy and tacky, but that's just my biggest wish for you is to be happy, love yourself, appreciate yourself, and know that you can be anything you want to. You're an amazing person. Please believe that in yourself. You have so much to give. You have a beautiful heart even if you don't want to see it. You do care, even though you don't want to admit it. And I'm talking about things, just a lot of stuff. You're more... You have feelings, you're not afraid to let them show. And I think you do have some empathy in you, which is good. That's always a good trait to have. It doesn't mean a person's weak, it just means they're alive and they know how to... You, I, Maybe I'm painting a picture of you that doesn't exist, but I think it does. I really think it does. I I don't even know. <laughs> like, this is so weird. I'm like, I'm going into this non-scripted. I mean, this is from my heart. I can't. I'm not even going to retape this because I'm going to leave all the awkward pauses. I'm going to leave all the thinking poses. I'm going to... This is just raw from the heart, man. I love you. You are amazing. Seriously. I am so grateful that I got to know you. Do you know how much I would smile when we'd be on the phone talking? And do you know how much I smiled the last time we were on Skype together and playing? It meant the world to me. And then this last week, week and a half, this whole surgery thing just took me and grabbed me by the shoulders and pulled me aside and it's owned me. It's all I can say. It has owned me. And now that there's only like a day left, it's hard to wrap my mind around, you know? It's like I know I'm going to be doing so much better once I'm over this. And through it, and around this whole everything, it's going to be amazing. Like, I have never lived a day of life without being in some kind of pain or the other. some To the point where it has controlled my life. Like, I am not free of this slave master. And the fact that I'm going to be pain-free, you know, healing from the surgery aside. The fact that I'm going to be pain-free, I don't even know what that feels like. And I know you suffer from fibro. I really hope that you can find something to alleviate those symptoms and make them less because no one deserves to live in pain. It's life's hard enough without that added thing into it, you know. And I guess I, I wish you a life of happiness, love, contentment, laughter, joys, pride in yourself. You got that inner strength and I think it's starting I hope it's starting to come out I can't speak for you because I haven't talked to you a lot but I do feel it in my heart every day and I want nothing but a very happy and fulfilled 
future and life for you. You deserve it so much. Seriously, I I would hug you right now. Uh, it's hard to tell, but I'm actually fighting back tears right now because the emotion is so overwhelming right now. You mean so much to me. I don't even think you know how much you mean to me. And uh, I don't even think I have the words to describe it. I, If I could hug you, you would know instantly. But I mean, my God, the... I, last year. <laughs> I just, I have so many amazing memories with you, and I would not trade any of them for anything out there. It's priceless. You've put so many smiles on my face. You've made me laugh. You've made me f keep feeling young, and that's priceless. Like, thank you so much. You've encouraged me. You've helped me keep going when I would have given up. Uh, thank you. I, there's just no other way to put it. I, You've done a lot for me, believe it or not. And that shows someone who's just so amazing. And I hope you can see that and find that in yourself and embrace that and grow upon it. You... Uh, <clears throat> There comes a time where words escape a person, and right now it is. I just hope you'll take everything that I've said to heart. Be happy. Find what makes you happy and hold on to that. It might change in time. Life has a way of doing that. But you ultimately find what makes you happy. You hold to it, and you make it yours. Seriously. I hope that when the time comes, you find someone that is your half that both helps you grow that completes you and that can give you the love that you deserve so much because you have so much love to give back in return I can tell you have a good heart like yeah I have not been this nervous about something in my entire life this is a scary thing I'm going into but I know you'll probably think of me a few times on Friday when I am getting that done and uh though I wish you had your mobile on so I could text you and personally let you know I'm okay I will um get a hold of you as soon as I can and I'll definitely let you know how it went and um as soon as I am more clear thinking so I'm gonna be on some massive painkillers of course once I get that taken care of and get that cleared out of my system or clear headed can stay awake for a little while I will love to start gaming with you again more religiously if you will this has gone a lot different than I originally thought it would I hmm it's like all these things I wanted to say and now I just can't think of it, but I think I said everything I wanted to and needed to. Just know that I love you. Like, you are so freaking important to me. Like, seriously. And my dearest friend, I love you so much. Like, seriously, I love you so much. You've done so much for me. Like, I just said all that you've done but it just means so much to me that I can't help but repeat it you know but anyway um I suppose I should get going the time's clicking up here and um I do still have to uh, fix this uh get it converted over and then uh post it somewhere <sighs> I am still going to talk to you on Skype Thursday. That is my goal. That is totally my goal. I am going to talk to you on Thursday. Though you'll probably see this after we talk because I want to leave this before I go into surgery itself, before I leave for the hospital. So, yeah. Um... Just be happy. Be content. That's that's my biggest wish for you is to be
be happy, love yourself, and live a life that you will never regret. Don't ever leave the chance to have to look back later in life and say, I wonder what if. <laughs> At least seriously, don't don't have a life that you regret anything, okay? Anything that goes wrong, learn from it. Learn from it. Everything that goes right, embrace it. Even the smallest stuff matters. Like seriously, even the smallest stuff matters. Okay, I could keep going on. I could probably make this an hour-long video, but... <sighs> what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? You know me, I can ramble off for hours, but... um, I think one of my top three things we've ever done besides playing games was planning that road trip. That was so fun. I don't know how you think about it now, but I still look back and just grin because that was just, <laughs> that was so amazing. Like seriously, the things we'd think of. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to pull through this surgery because I got an amazing friend out there that I really want to spend more time with, even if it's just online. I'm not ready to leave just yet. Plus, I have so many other things in my life I have to do. Nah, it's not time for me to kick the old bucket yet. It's going to take a lot more than this to bring me down and keep me down. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, I love you so much. Like, I'm being dead serious right now. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You mean the world to me. And I'm so honored and privileged to call you friend and to know you. Thanks for uh, coming into my life. And I'm so grateful our paths crossed. <sighs> Alright. Surgery's coming up. Let's do this shit.